Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, in this chapter, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to build the tail surfaces. I know that everybody has a different way of starting to build. Some start with the fuselage, start, some start with the wing. I find that I'm often starting with the wing or the tail surfaces. So what I'll be doing first, I'll be looking for the numbers. The, the, the Willow sets are actually very well numbered. I'll be popping out the pieces I need and I'll be starting to lay the, um, the pieces on the, on the plan, pricking them down with some needles and some drawing things and uh, gluing them gradually. I will need to do some modifications because uh, as I was mentioning, I intend to make an RC airplane out of this one. So I'm going to have to make movable parts for the stabilizer and the rudder. So that's going to be a bit more complicated than the original design, but uh, all the more fun. So let's go into it. cut and sanded the edges of the, of the pieces and I'll be laying them down. Uh, another thought that I have is that I want to make it as light as possible for practical purposes of them flying. So I still have to figure out how I'll actually do it to, to adapt not only then the, the movable surfaces but also to lighten the structure as much as possible without of course compromising the possible the, the structural integrity of course of it so let's see I'll, I'll continue with it this is the fun part so continue with me and let's see how this comes together <music> for the elevator I've had to put in a new spar and I've separated them by pins to make sure that they can actually fold up and down they don't need to fold up very much I know uh, but just a little bit up and down uh, and then fixing everything for that I will need to do slight modifications to the, uh, some of the pieces the spars will be slightly shorter so just one single piece will need to be somehow short I'll probably sand it down I don't think it's worth cutting it because it's just like 1 16th of an inch so that's how it is so far. We continue. Maybe just a small incision. Things do happen, like I just broke off a little bit of a corner, which actually does not really matter. That's one thing that I've learned with these things, is that... Uh, almost everything can be fixed especially at this stage so in this case I'm not even going to stick it back on because it's probably going to have even more weight because of the glue than because of the wood so I'll just clean it up a bit and, and go ahead without it um, but as I say like anything can be fixed at this stage so even if I would destroy the whole piece still have the drawing have some sheet probably some scrap sheet or sheet or some other some other sheet and it could be fixed so nothing big to worry about terribly fiddly that's why I'm using some tweezers to move them around and then uh, I'll continue it's a bit of a, 
a slow process, uh, but a process that is very much enjoyable. And we'll continue, we'll continue with that and see how, how we've managed to fix it. Another challenge that is constantly there is that when we put in the glue, we have to try to avoid to putting too much because it all builds up in weight, right? And the whole point is to build it as light as possible. And then the little engine and the little, uh, the, the limited power of the engine is enough to, to carry it around. So, so I'll see how I do that. Once I finish it, I'll see if I can do even some kind of uh, lightening of the structure, maybe around the, the outer sections and see if I can lighten the structure a little bit down that it will, that it will help. Every, every gram will support the other, the cores. finished there's still some things to do uh, I've been removing the black parts that are remaining from the laser cutting uh, some people do it some people don't I don't really mind them but uh, it does look cleaner like that and it removes a bit of weight that's that's a key thing for me also rounded the, the leading edges and the trailing edges somehow to make it look better and also so that when I put on the tissue that it doesn't uh, get hooked on and maybe tear um, I did do a bit of balancing to make sure that it's somehow balanced um, I think on the tail surfaces it's not as important as on the main wing for sure but uh, I think it's good practice to try to keep it in balance in all directions actually so so let's see how it goes also removed a bit of the glue that was it was coming out so try to make it as light and sturdy as possible uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to put some water and glue mix on it to strengthen it once it dries it should be quite strong that's the key purpose of it and uh, afterwards then I'll also be preparing to split the, the moving surfaces away from the, from the stabilizer and from the rudder that's finished so now I'll just put them down to dry and then once they dry probably a, a short sanding a very smooth sanding 
and then gradually put those aside and move on to the next step. It's also going to be interesting. So thank you for watching. Look forward to the next steps. I'll be still working on the wing probably will be the next part and look forward to seeing you there. So all the best and stay well.